Yo 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 yo. This is the two hundred and fifty third episode of the Burton Burger Podcast. I'm your host, well, one of your co-hosts, uh, Bert, and with me is the other one. You see it in the title, baby. Hey, you know who it is, Burger. What's up, yo? <laughs> yeah, this is the fucking show, boy. Um, how's it? How's it going? You were doing good. One minute or one hour, <laughs> 14 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Okay. I'm just staring Perfect. at the fucking timer right now. I'm good. Yeah. That's good. That's great. That's great. Great to hear. Great to hear. We have a bunch of fun stuff, as always. Do we now? As always, so much fun stuff. Cool. Yep. Well, let's start with all the notes you have written down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Start with a highlight clip. You said you were gonna get that done today. Um, yeah, I ended up having to go to work again. All right. So But I got today's highlight clip done. So Yeah, no, I went to go open the main highlight clip and I'm like, wait a minute. Fuck. I should probably do today's first. And then I did today's and then Dude, this so is it's bad. not done yet. No, today's is done and it's up, but the uh, the real one, no, no, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Not what I'm asking, cool. No, it's not. Officially late. <laughs> it is <laughs> fuck um yeah i don't know what yeah i don't even want to comment i don't even want to comment i don't need you to no nah, i don't I, I i shouldn't i shouldn't yeah i think i went to b-dubs four times this week that was pretty great it's a pr in b-dubs world nice it's not fucking good yeah nope no it's not good can't be good for my body my poor body and then the days that I didn't go to beat ups and went to Hooters. So that was cool. So I had wings, I think, every single night this week. Nice. <laughs> then last night I had Chinese food, so that was cool. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just a fucking a menace. A menace, really. You're just gonna fucking keep letting me do this, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Um no, this is I what guess you get. Nothing really that incredible going on for me, but I mean fuck. The fighting world. She, we had a big ass weekend, big ass fucking weekend. Did we? Yep. I almost called cool. him Jake Tyson, Jake Tyson and Mike Paul, Mike Tyson and Jake Paul went at it. They went toe to toe, teed off on each other. <laughs> got, uh, got, got, got a little intimate on Friday. That was pretty crazy. It was a big spectacle on this. I've been fighting with you for a while. Being like, no, 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 I know we've been bringing it up on the fucking show. Like, yeah, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson, it's fucking happening. And they drop all these rule changes. They're like, no, no, this motherfucker's going to be in headgear and shit. All these rule changes, fucking like 20 ounce gloves, crazy shit. And then out of the blue, I heard something. It's like, it's actually not even happening anymore. And uh, the whole time you're like, no, no, it's still happening. It's going on. No, it, it indeed happened. Fucking last week. I don't remember getting any sort of a heads up. It was like the week before. They're like, hey, the fight's on next week. I'm like, what the fuck? What fight? It's like, you know, Jake Paul, Mike Tyson. It's like, fuck, okay, cool. I'll tune in. What was pretty cool about it? Uh, I guess the fact that it actually happened. I mean, I was kind of like geeked on the as it was coming up. Now, what about it is cool that it actually happened? Is this the first I mean, I time thought it a wasn't YouTuber happening. has fought? A retired superstar boxer. <laughs> no. It's not. No. no, no, it's just the hype. The hype of it all. And then I thought it was off and then coming back. Oh, the hype of it. Yeah, no, I understand that. But that that's one thing. But the hype of it happening. I, that's yeah, and then confused. sounding like it's off and then gruel changes. You're the only the person shit. I've ever heard say it's off. I heard it was off by like y- uh, you were the times. only one I've ever heard that. I heard they had to postpone it one time because of Mike Tyson's health, and that was it. Hmm. And every time that got brought up, you always would say, "Yeah, I heard that's off." Yeah, I heard it was off. Yeah, every time I, I googled it, it would say it's on this day or this time. It's crazy. Every time. Yeah, I don't know. I I think I um So you said it was pretty cool. I'm waiting to hear how why it was cool. I mean, it's neat that it actually happened. And then my question it... is, what was neat that it actually happened? Is this the first time a YouTuber ever fought a superstar right. boxing 
Yep, we were all here, that. unfortunately, for that yeah. fucking stunner that you dropped. Yeah, mm-hmm. And it didn't uh-huh. seem to stick because you said the exact same thing. So uh-huh. maybe if I say it again, uh-huh. the point will get it's across. okay, we don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, I want to talk about it. I just oh, want to talk okay. about You're what was pretty cool. fucking homo about it. Right on, right on. Well, okay. I'm just going off of your fight so far. You said pretty cool. <laughs> trying, pretty cool fight. Yeah, the fights I'm were pretty cool. to go into it, was, it, you're going back. It was cool right because on. they did it. <laughs> Yeah, it actually happened. That was pretty neat. The aspect of it was very, very uh, intriguing, I think, for everybody, really. Now, what do you mean by that? uh, I don't know. There was always like a, I I do know, there was always kind of a back and forth where people are like, man, Tyson's going to fucking murder him. But then the other half of the group, it was kind of like politics. It's like half of them were so diligent on this motherfucker is going to get murdered. And then the other one are like, no, no, no. Mike Tyson's almost 60. He's going to get fucking, his head's going to spin around like a Looney Tunes character. Well, they do this, I think, for all of these fights. Okay, yeah. Right, where they think that one person's going to um, kick somebody's ass. Right. Because of this, but it's there. It, it, that's been the thing with the Paul brothers is they keep calling out non boxers or retired boxers to fight. Yeah, you can. I mean, I was thinking about that, and I'm like, yeah, that is kind of fucked up. But at the same time, no, it ain't. I think it's smart. Yeah, no, it makes sense. It's like they're not. Beat, I, I, I don't only want to box people I know I could beat. Yeah, it's fucking genius. And then it's also to say that you you fought these extremely famous people. It's like who gives a fuck about some ranked guy who's in boxing, right? It's kind of like the John Jones recently, the other guy who fought. He's been talking shit about, oh, why would I take this fight? It does nothing for my legacy. It's like you're not going to look back and be like, oh, you fucking fought Burt Bergerson back in 04. It's like, fuck, who gives a fuck? Now, when you fight fucking Mike Dyson in 2024, I mean, fuck, that sounds a whole lot different. But Well, for you it does, but not for Mike Tyson. Right. I don't know. It just, um, it's, it's a... Yeah, these are not, these are just... These every time these things come up, they're usually pretty uh, boring. Um, I heard all the <laughs> yeah. fights before it were really good, but all but then the main one was bad. The first two rounds, yeah. Tyson was out, and um, Tyson was clapping. Yeah, I don't know if he was clapping, but he definitely was the most alive in there. The motherfucker landed eighteen punches out of eight rounds. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely all came in. There's first. no clapping no, I'm in saying that. We were talking about the first <laughs> two, Fucking motherfucker. Jake Paul I had, know what uh, happened. Over 200 landed punches. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I know what happened. Yeah. I'm, the first two. Uh, I don't. The entire fucking, I don't even know if he did well in those first two. He just had more energy then. No, he won the first two. Mike Tyson won the first two rounds. Okay. Mike yeah. Tyson won the first two rounds. Yeah. No, he didn't. Anyways, um, right. what about the MMA one? The MMA one was pretty awesome. I always lead in with that. Yep, you sure it was did. Good. It was great. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Surprise it happened. Surprise it happened. That was Went another through. one. There's been cool. a lot of, uh, not hype necessarily. I don't know what the word would be, but uh, uh, judgment on John Jones for like fucking dodging certain matches and stuff. Because it's like, why would you take this super hard fight? Like I kind of mentioned earlier, right? It's like, why would you take this super hard fight for something that people aren't really going to remember in however long? Instead of fighting, like, whatever. He fought, like, some fucking Olympic athlete who used to hold the belt for, like, however many fucking years and shit. So that looks better than this other honky that everybody's wanting him to fight. But but this one, fucking John Jones, whatever the go, fucking best MMA dude of all fucking time. Zero losses on the record. Pretty sweaty. He's got a pretty fucking crazy resume, but... He fought. Last time I saw him fight, I didn't really get to watch him fight. He like fucking murdered the guy in the first two minutes of the fucking the fight. So watching him this time, I don't remember if it was the third round or third or fourth round. He I mean, he still out, very but... much um, kicked a lot of ass throughout the first couple of rounds. The very yeah. first round he fucking had was he was on top of him for like 95 <laughs> percent of the fucking <laughs> round. Yeah, most of the rounds he was on top of him for the fucking round. Actually, wait, I think I'm thinking of the fight before. No, they, they no. did a lot of boxing. In the second round, yeah, they did. The first round was when he put his leg behind the guy's leg and threw him on the ground and then yeah, just yeah. kept giving him a bunch of elbows. 
Yeah, yeah. Second round was just a normal, boring ass UFC thing. And the mm-hmm. third round, he fucking did a 360 spin to the fucking ribs and killed the guy. Yeah, it was right gross. in front of Trump. So, um, yeah, I watched all of that through TikTok lives, which is fucking crazy. That's they what my cousin was saying too. He's like, "Yeah, I got it up on TikTok." I thought he meant like he he made a video or something and he threw it up. Like, and then you sent me a fucking video. You watching it on there? Like, what the? fuck? I was watching is someone watch it. On, yeah. What the fuck? They kept getting banned. Yeah. And, oh, it's literally just like me. Like when I do the county thing, and <laughs> instead of live streaming the county thing, I just live stream the UFC fight. Yeah, it's that easy. Like, what the fuck? That was so fucking funny. I literally had my wallet out too to pay for it, and then I thought it was free. You're like, no, no, it's with ESPN Plus. I'm like, oh fuck, mm-hmm. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Like, there's no way it made sense for them to fucking have a John Jones fucking card free. Yeah. But, no, I don't know. I was on my phone and it started at like one in the morning, so I wasn't going to get up and watch it on my laptop or something. So, yeah, no, that makes sense. It was uh, it was dope. But yeah, no, I watched people on TikTok watch it. That's so cool. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. It was the last fight was cool. Um, I didn't watch literally any of the other ones. Oh, so. my God. The second to last one I fucking oh, it was great. But, yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm a dork. UFC's mid. I'm a dork. What can I say? I'm a dork. Yeah. Surprise. I think you went into it hyped like you do with a lot of things and you would have been excited either way. I Actually, I don't know if I've ever heard you get excited about something, like hyped up about something, and then when it happened, you're like, nah, it was gay. Yeah. It's yeah, probably because you dumb... overhype things so much that, you know what I mean? Like you'd literally have to watch your mom get <laughs> okay. dick down uh-huh. or something for you to not like it. <laughs> yeah. Like to swing it the other way. Yeah. It um would be very difficult. Yeah. No, it's I feel like that's something I mean, that's like a I don't think you call it a phenomenon, but that's like a thing that happens a lot, right? Where it's like people go into something with like really high expectations and it doesn't hit it and then they get fucking pissed off. Yeah, but know. yours I is different. Yours is different. You go in with high expectations. It's not high expectations, but yeah, it's hype. Well, uh, so that's probably the difference. I mean, you had pretty, yeah, you had pretty high expectations that it was going to be hyped. That's what you were saying in our cousin chat. Um, but I don't, I don't understand. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, you have like all of these expectations, and then as soon as one kind of happens, like everything else just falls into place. Yeah, which. When I think about it from an individual perspective, that would be an amazing life to live to where (laughs) all you'd have to do is watch paint dry and you have a good time. But when you're debating with other people, it makes you literally like trash to talk to. Like your opinion doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it's not fun. But in your in your own little room like that would be amazing to where you can watch the little squiggly lines in your eyes move around and be amazed by it. That does happen. When I'm on the plane. And but the um, just, when and the um, when we talk about like, oh, what are the best ways to spend your free time? And then you try to tell me that it's actually watching paint dry. It's the greatest thing ever. It's like, well, no, it's not. But thanks. Bert. Yeah. Bert's the guy that likes everything and anything, including men. So do. we don't really take his opinion too seriously <laughs> around here. It's a dangerous but game. But one thing that we do take very serious, guys. Oh, and um, we have a first in Burton Burger history. We do. A first. Big. Something that's never happened in 252 episodes, but you bet your ass on the 253rd episode, <laughs> it happened. <laughs> Guys, in. ladies and gentlemen, Burton Burger are proud to announce our first ever sponsor. Never yep. thought the day would come. Pick your jaws up off the floor. <laughs> we finally got somebody to sponsor this podcast. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. I know. You can hardly contain it yourself. Bert was Eat. so excited about it that he forgot what I was talking about and had no idea what I was talking about a few episodes ago, so he's not yep. grateful. Um, <laughs> no idea. Yeah, uh, he, even though he very much was It was in the context it. of having guests on... Yeah, but. yeah, there was more information there. Anyways, yeah, I'm not going to argue with you over an ad read. So <laughs> we have somebody that sponsored the podcast. They sent us some stuff. 
And uh, we have an ad that we got to read now, guys. So we're going to be doing that for the next 10 or so episodes. So you'll hear this a couple of times. But uh, it'll be a little bit uh, more uh, quicker and formal the next time uh, we do this. But we're just so fucking excited to finally talk about this. Um, We'll just break it down for you uh, one at a time. So it's called the Mubaru Store. Okay, and to those that have no idea what that is, um, it's the it's the same thing as when people put little rubber duckies on jeeps. You know the big jeep movement that's going around where people put a little duck on the jeep, and you look at jeeps dashboards, and there's fucking twenty goddamn ducks yeah, on their dashboard, yeah. which made me want to get a jeep really bad because I love ducks a lot ducks, yeah um well i don't have a jeep so i can't participate in that but what i do have is a subaru and there is a small movement called moo moo subaru i shit you not and it's <laughs> where you take these little miniature cows like they're like rubber duckies but rubber cows or that kind of material almost and you moo somebody meaning you go to a cool subaru just like you do with a cool jeep and you put a little cow on their windshield saying you've been mooed you've been fucking and then you run away like a fucking goblin (laughs) i love it Mm -hmm. so the mubaru store uh make their own moos and they sent your cousins a box of them and throughout the next 10 or so episodes that we'll be talking about these lovely folks um, you'll be seeing pictures and videos of the moves during the ad, and uh, we'll talk about which ones are our favorites and cute ones and things like that. I'm gonna hold on to a couple. Bert can keep a couple, and yeah. I'll probably give a couple to my family members, and then the rest will probably go out and move some motherfuckers in the area. Huh? <laughs> yes. Moo them all. We're going to moo on them. So, moo them up. Uh, but yeah, no, they're cute little cows, and the people at the movie review store make all sorts of different uh, moos. So, you can see them on the screen and check them out. Uh, like I said, this is us more kind of talking about it. Um, we'll go with more through the ad read the next time uh, we talk about this. But yeah, we literally got fucking sponsored, guys. So, about to cry. <laughs> I yeah. reached out to them, and they're like, sure, what do you want? We'll send you anything. I'm like, holy fuck. <laughs> wow. You've never listened to the show. Cool. <laughs> the All right, so here we go. Here's the... F- yeah, seriously. Here's the first ever ad read on Burton Burger. It's time to shout out the first ever sponsor in Burton Burger history, the Mubaru store. You've heard of Duck Duck Jeep, where people leave little rubber duckies on Jeeps while get ready for Moo Moo Subaru something. Same thing as the ducks with Jeeps, but now it's cows, aka moos with Subarus. Now, whenever you see a cool looking Subaru, you can go moo that thing by placing a cute little cow with a card stating you've been mooed and start a brand new movement in your area. Oh, yeah. The folks at the Mubaru store have endless options of moves to choose from. You can choose them all. Well, you can check them all out by heading to their website at www.mubarustore.com. They sent your cousins a box with a ton of different moves, including the custom Burton Burger moo. Uh, yeah, did I show so- you those? I don't know if yes. I showed you those. Yeah. Yeah. On the bottom of them, they uh, they wrote Burton Burger on them. I was like, "Wow, that's fucking perfect!" And they gave us they gave us two a piece. There's one that's like a regular looking cow, and then one that's like one of them long haired cows. Oh, nice! And there's two a piece, so you get one, and or you get two, and I get two. That's crazy. They thought of yeah, us. I'm it was sweet to see. Them. Also. The Mubaru store is holding huge contests this holiday season with a ton of prizes. If you're interested in checking that out, you can search www.mubarustore.com forward slash sweepstakes. As a proud pumpkin orange Subaru owner myself, ladies and gents, I've been wanting to be a part of the movement for quite some time. And with the Mubaru store, I can and so can you. So once again, go check out the Store.com to see their awesome collection of moves and make sure you tell them that Burton Burger sent you. All their links can be found in the description below. 
in the description below. And thank you so much to the Mubaru Store for the first ever B&B sponsorship. Yes, thank you, Mubaru Store. We definitely appreciate it. We love your products. Um, what the Hell fuck yeah. do you have now? You have a Chevy? Maybe they have Chevy. Oh, gosh. Um, dinosaur. I don't know. Yeah, you're fucked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll just buy So, yeah, check out. Check out the folks at Mover Store. Thank you guys for the sponsorship. Uh, next time we get around to this, uh, we'll give you a little bit more on the dot. We just had to give you guys an update. So what are we going to do now for um, ads and sponsorships? Well, um, I got an idea now of the type of people that will uh, that might be able to sponsor the show here. So, um, And honestly, the, we'll get more ads and more cool products that we can advertise uh, if you guys um, end up clapping um, or copping some of that stuff there. So you can clap as many cows as you want. Just make sure they're <laughs> from the Mubaru store. Exactly. Um, but yeah, no, anytime we have ads, you, the more you guys check those ads out and participate in them um, with the products, the more it benefits your cousins, I guess. So we're going to be completely transparent, too. Like, we don't give a fuck. Mm. Um, they didn't pay us to do anything. They gave us a box of moves, which is fucking good enough for me. I really don't give a shit. <laughs> Bert yeah. doesn't even own a Subaru, and he's going to be just as fucking excited as I am. So, Oh, baby. Yeah, fuck, you'll be able to have them on the desk. You can put them anywhere. Yeah, well, yeah, and some of them actually do look pretty pretty cool. Like, I ain't giving some of them away. And <laughs> Yeah. They had all sorts of ones, Harry Potter ones and the Burton Burger ones and rainbow-colored ones and some yeah, that were in bathtubs and there's mini ones and there's big ones. So they're, uh, they're pretty fucking dope. So I'll start reaching out to some other folks that are kind of in the same... Probably can hit up like a lot of like Etsy businesses like that mm -hmm. and uh, make some love with those people and their products, exactly. if you know what I mean. Lol. Yeah. They literally sent me the box to my apartment and they labeled it for burger. I it literally that. said burger on it. So yeah, that was cool. Favorite. Fuck. That was tool. So yeah. Yeah. Check them out, guys. Get yourself a pair of moves. Oh, yeah. Sometime soon. Tool. But, yeah, no. Uh, speaking of uh, all of that kind of stuff, Cometure County has still been going crazy. It's been going ham. It's really nice to be able to be like, mm, I'd like Twitter to grow a little bit more. So we grow yeah. Twitter. Mm, Twitch is getting a little low. Let's get Twi Twitch up there. Feeling. YouTube, come on. You can do better than that. Mm -hmm. it's exhausting it's tiring but i don't give a fuck i power through yeah i feel like if you um jam a square into a triangle hole uh hard enough it'll you'll eventually make progress yeah boy that <laughs> sounds bad <laughs> that's horrible yeah, that sounds bad, but you guys took it the wrong way, not me. Exactly. What the hell? That's You're the sense. pervs. Yeah, what the hell? But again, the whole entire point is to um, get 100 new followers on Twitter or Twitch or YouTube or things like that. Hopefully a couple of them will stick around and be actual sesame seeds of the show. Discord's been popping off a little bit as well, getting people in there. Literally had a kid tell me, Psych! I'm not joining the Discord. I just wanted the free follow. <laughs> That's crazy. And I'm like, it's like, well, psych back? Question psych mark? back? Question mark? Bye. Unfollow. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Cool. Idiot. That was cool for two seconds. Nice uh, spoiling yeah. your own fucking trick. Yeah. <laughs> I don't understand that. Like, I will follow people. So what I say is... <clears throat> <clears throat> okay. Oh, um, here we go. <clears throat> Guys, we actually have a Discord for our podcast, and if you want to join that Discord, I tell you what, everybody that says Discord in the live chat right here, right now, I'm going to follow everybody that I see type out the word Discord, because I got to be following you in order to DM you the Discord link. So if you want me to follow you here on TikTok, just say Discord, I'm going to follow you, and then I'm going to DM you that link after the live is over. Just like that. Thank you. Thank you. And then I get a bunch of people Bravo saying Discord. And then I follow all of those people. And then I DM the link afterwards. And most of them don't join. <laughs> and literally, like the next fucking day, I open up TikTok. 
and unfollow all of those people. Yeah. So you're literally just wasting like my time, which uh-huh. is fine. I'm okay doing it because anytime I send it out, there is some return. Oh yeah. yeah like no, if I send out 20 of them, a handful will join, which is fine. Yeah. But I just, I don't understand like, maybe just people don't look into it. You can see I'm following three people right now on TikTok and it's my mods for the live chat. <laughs> like that's it. I'm not, if I had like 10,000 fo- people that I was following, okay, maybe that would make sense. Uh huh. But. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Like, okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, kind of oh, he just follows everybody, but fucking people don't look at it. Here was another one. This was my favorite. I had a guy say, I followed you on all social media and I love your content. And he gave me his county. And I was like, that is so sweet, dude. Thank you. I appreciate it. I clicked on his profile on TikTok. He wasn't even following me on TikTok. <laughs> Genius. Because when I click on somebody's profile, it says one of two things. It either says follow or follow back. Yeah. Well, in order for me to follow someone back, they already have to be following. <laughs> so I click on this kid's profile and it literally says follow. I'm like... You followed us on all social media, yep. oh, but not on cool. TikTok, not on the yeah. one that you're the commenting on. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Oh. Yeah. So I can pin comments too. That's what I've been doing is pin, pinning comments, and then I can just click right there. So I'll be like, Jessica, let's see. You want to go to this county here in fucking Florida? Cool. Well, you're not following us, so bye. I'm her and yeah. then go into the next one. Yeah. And then you see like 10 people follow right away. Yeah so yeah no it's it's um it's not the most fun thing that's for sure i do get a lot of people that just fucking sit there and vibe there is a guy that was sitting in there with over a thousand coins donated Mm -hmm. sat there for the whole live (laughs) just sat there wasn't commenting wasn't talking to me just sat there what the hell and that's been happening a lot more recently i think I've had multiple people say it's kind of a vibe in there, Mm -hmm. which maybe for some background noise, I guess, but fucking A, I would be annoyed if I kept hearing the same thing every two minutes. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I have some music playing and I do chat with the people a little bit and stuff like that. I don't know. I mean, maybe it is kind of a bop to the right person but i've had a lot of people say that people Here's like just like watching tones. i don't know i, I doubt <laughs> that but it's like people have said they like they like colors i think it's kind of like satisfying to watch them like zoom in oh, find it and and things like that. that maybe but th- i never got any That's of that when we did it on ours yeah <laughs> never huh. got that there and it amazes me how many fucking people that have found me Mm-hmm. That were on Burton Burger, like our old mods. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're like yeah. Burger question mark. I'm like, yo, you found the, the burner. Yeah, <laughs> that's so nice. Crazy. So, like, no, who's that? Oh <laughs> shit! Sounds so just like, like Burger, and he's linking Burton Burger material, <laughs> and he's coloring in counties, but it's not Burton Burger. Um. Hmm. You can also, there's a lot more you can do now on TikTok. And I really got to figure out how the live stuff works, as me and you were trying to talk about a bit, oh, because yeah. I want to make sure we're hitting all of our potential on this thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, there's a lot more tools you can use. There's polls I can do now. And there was a one poll in there that was auto generated. Like, what would you like to see in these lives? And I think the three questions were like longer lives, more frequent lives, and more interesting lives. Mm-hmm. And for a while, people want, were voting to do the more interesting lives. I was like, I'd love, trust me, guys, I would fucking <laughs> love to do more interesting ones here. Yeah, this is Seriously. what you guys like. Listen. Yeah, this is what TikTok likes, and this is what makes <laughs> you fuckers people? stay around. So yeah. um, this is what I'm forced to do. But people did switch starts voting more on more frequent lives, and I'm like, blow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every hour on the hour, please. Mm -hmm. No, please actually do it. Mm -hmm. Um, Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't mind it. I mean, it is fun to see our numbers grow after we went a very long time without it growing. Mm -hmm. Um, So 
We're still getting some money flying in through it, but it's nothing crazy. I think I've made right. like over a hundred bucks now on it, but yeah, ain't like you're gonna see it anyway. So <laughs> yeah, I'm like that's neat. Yeah, Fuck. when when we did it on TikTok, I had to share it with you because it was our brand and you were there for it, but. Fuck you, mine. <laughs> yeah, fuck. I ain't gonna do anything with it. No. And I, I was talking about this with a buddy though, and it's like it amazes me. Like, like if I was getting a hundred dollars through something like TikTok, like back when I was in high school, like it would be like holy fucking shit. Mm-hmm. Now it's like nothing. Like right now, you're you're the same way. If we wanted to buy the new PS5 Pro, we could. <laughs> Uh huh. Like literally, right now. <laughs> Go to uh-huh. a twenty four seven fucking grocery store or you know like Walmart or something and buy it. Uh-huh. You could. Yeah. But like when we were kids, like that would take like a whole summer's allowance to maybe have enough for it. Plus yeah. mom and dad paying for half of it or something. Exactly. Yeah. It's crazy, and it's just like just I don't even real hard hope to get it for Christmas. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But you um. Like, I don't even think about filling up my car anymore. Like, the 40, uh, 50 bucks it takes for me to fill up my car, don't think about that it. That used to be the fucking end of the world, yeah. Yeah, it was. Car insurance was such, like, an end of the world. Yeah. Now I don't even think about it. Yeah. It's like there's a lot of bills like that, and I can tell you, it's, um... <laughs> it ain't because we're loaded or anything. <laughs> no. Um, no. We make we make good money in our personal jobs, hence why we don't tell you our fucking names. But uh, yeah, I'd like to keep it coming in. Yeah, please. <laughs> I don't care how it comes in, guys. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Yeah, exactly. Bert and I would Fuck. love to do this full time. Fuck, play video games all day and get paid for it. Why Hell not? yeah! You guys are gay though and won't pay for it. So, well, um, <laughs> Fuck. but Fuck. I mean, we're not rich or nothing, but. I think it's just like it's like an adult life. thing, and yeah. not really having like yeah, it's like a family like, to support or some shit. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I it's just not a big fucking deal. I don't know why my fucking parents and grandparents make it sound so gay. No. Fucking gas is too fucking high, and goddamn them taxes and everything. It's like I mean, you have to do it anyways. I don't fucking. <laughs> Everybody it. I else don't, does, and they're not. I don't industry, understand. So. Yeah, no, it's not that big of a deal. Like fuck, they they take out so much money for my paycheck, eh? and they take it out from everybody's brother. Like, unless <laughs> your business that you're working for is fucking ripping you off, then. Hmm. Um. Yeah, then you're fine. Here's another fun one. So I got student loans that I got to pay off, um, yeah. and those are pretty steep. And both on the private and federal level, fucking a Uncle Sam, don't forget that's for sure. Ah, uh, nope. Um, he's an asshole. Um, yep. I had this loan that I've been paying off for over a year now, and um, I looked at it recently and i think it said so it's been over a year Mm -hmm. since i've been starting making payments on it and i think it just broke a thousand dollars paid off Mm -hmm. and i'm like that's not right yeah that's absolutely not right (laughs) that's not right i'm not going to get into the specifics but i'm giving this company at least over a couple hundred bucks a month for this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah. And to see it barely be paid off over a thousand, no, that shouldn't be right. Nope. It should be a lot lower. And I found this out. Um, they're paying off the interest of the loan and the principal slash main loan at the same yeah. time. Yeah. So most of the money is going towards the interest and then a chunk of it's going towards the main loan. Fuck. So, and they said that is completely normal and everything and I'm like, fuck, maybe it is. You know, I'm still learning all these finances shit, but uh, that's gay. And I'm yeah. like, can't wait. Funny. Is there something else we can do? And they're like, well, I mean, you could pay towards the main loan if you wanted to right now. I'm like, yeah, that'd be cool, but then, you know, the main loan's going to be paid off, and then I got, like, 15 grand in interest 
that I'm just handing them at this point. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, cause it's like, what are you going to pay off first? The money you have to pay off or, well, obviously you have to pay interest too, but it's like the money you borrowed or the money or the interest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I think that'd be really gay to have the loan completely gone <laughs> and you're literally just paying interest at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at least you can mentally, it's it's all, it's going to take the same amount of time. And yeah, honestly, yeah. I think if you pay interest off more, like it lowers interest as well. So yeah. my grandpa told me some shit when he built his house in the 70s. Um, one penny. <laughs> went to the fucking principal loan and the rest went to interest. That's crazy. One penny. Now, <laughs> I wouldn't trust my grandpa with a lot of shit. Uh-huh. So one penny could be $100, but yeah. he says one penny, but uh-huh. soon it turns into two pennies and three pennies and four to where the principal loan gets most of it and the interest doesn't get much. It kind uh-huh. of starts to swing in that favor there. Oh, so fuck, okay. Yeah. And old Biden has told me I don't got to fucking pay any federal loans right now. So fuck, I suppose, Joe. Okay. Yeah, we're all like on a delay right now, I guess. I don't fucking know why, but. Yeah, shit. I remember I was talking to somebody like, yeah, we don't have to pay anything. It's nice. And I'm kind of like scratching the back of my head. And I'm like, well, I mean, you're just delaying it, though. (laughs) Yeah. Right? Like, you're just delaying it. The inevitable at this point. Like, I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't mind putting a little bit towards it so it's fucking gone, but mm-hmm. that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Those are know. fucking... They're so fucked. They're gay. God. It's horrible, yeah. Nah, I, my, my brother's been giving me a lot of shit. He's like, man, you went to school for four years. You have all this debt and no toys. And look at me, I got all these trucks in the backyard. All my toys got a motorcycle, three trucks. Like They're okay, so garbage. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What does that have to do with anything? I'm like shit. Okay, and he makes he, he doesn't do too bad, but I'm like fuck. Okay, yeah. No, I suppose he's living he's in also, his parents' basement, not hanging out with any friends. Has no girlfriend. Yeah. Buys fucking rust buckets off of Facebook <laughs> Marketplace. Keeps them for a week, then gives them back to the owner. Uh huh. It's fucking, it's cooked. I don't understand. What a weird flex. Yeah, it was weird. It wasn't weird. like he was being a dickhead, but yeah, no, he said it. And I'm just like, all right, buddy. All right. All these toys. Yeah. Who are you using them with? Uh huh. Yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah. It's a weird thing to point out. I'm like, shit. Yeah, I don't right. know. Like, that's, that's, I remember Tater used to rub that in my face too, because he's not a college educated man either. And, uh huh. Uh, he was telling me how I'm going to be in all this debt. This was like in high school. He hasn't said anything then, except at Pickleball, he brought it up when we were losing. Yeah. Something about, he was mad <laughs> at me crazy. and my, something about my college education made the ball go out or something. He got, he was okay. really fucking angry during Pickleball. But, what the fuck? Um, yeah, he, he said that to me in high school, like, oh, you're going to be in so much debt and I'm not going to be in any. And I'm like, well, that's the thing is. Yeah, I'm going to be in a lot of debt, but the job I have is going to be making a lot of money, so I'm going to pay off that debt very quickly, so then we'll be even, and then we'll be passing you pretty fucking fast, too. Um, mm-hmm. So where it's like doubling, tripling what you fucking have. Now, it ain't going to be doing that. I was a little <laughs> ambitious on that. Uh huh. Tater does very well for himself. He does not need college, and I am a very big believer that not everybody does need college at all. Yeah. Um, and Tater's living proof of it. He's got a fucking house now, and, uh, he's a big shit house, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd fucking burn it and honestly start over, but hey, you know, my opinion. Uh huh. How about no, we rent I an mean, excavator? Yeah, seriously. Yeah. He does fine. Your brother does fine. Cousin Casino does nothing. But, anyways, yeah, yeah. you don't need college at all. So, uh huh. Um, however, I needed it. Because yeah. I literally can't work without my degree. Right. Same thing with you. So yeah. um, there are some professions that you actually need it for. And there's other people that uh, I, I think that's the st- statistic, right? That most people go to college and really don't use their degree that much. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just there was just a big hype of all the fucking, what was it? The liberal studies or whatever. 
Well, that's like, gay what the too. Fuck? Yeah, I, know. I fucking. I, I don't even like thinking schools. about that. That just feels like some fucking propaganda shit. Like, who, yeah. who did that? Me. I don't know. Oh, I spoke. I did. It was stupid. I didn't even fucking know about it until I was there. <laughs> I was at the school, and they said it was a liberal arts school. I'm like, what the fuck does that mean? Uh huh. Like, oh, uh, what? It's because I was so fucking focused on just playing football that I didn't look into the important shit, so. I see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I had no fucking idea. How come you ain't taking Spanish? What? Why the fuck would I take Spanish? You have to. No, I don't. Yeah. (laughs) That ain't fair. It's for well-rounded education. Blow me, buddy. Fucking well-rounded my ass. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Fucking every school has to make you do electives. I think liberal arts make you do more electives. Yeah. It's fucking oh, stupid. Yeah. yeah, I didn't have to do too much. It was just the general things where it's like in high school, you have to take your fucking English and science. Well, there's and your gen eds, yeah, and then exactly. there's your major, and then there are a certain amount of electives, but the electives is significantly lower at some colleges versus a liberal arts. Yeah, I don't even remember what the fuck I did. I don't think I had any fun classes or anything like quote unquote fun. I I don't know. Fuck I don't know, know if it's if electives is the right word. I mean, maybe I could even say like the general education was a lot more general for a liberal arts school. Yeah. So like for your school, it was like had to do English, you had to do history, you had to do math, like so many of those, and you were good. But then this one was like. My school was so oh, they had, much yeah. more like cultural studies, and you had to do some art stuff. And then since it was a Christian school, I had to do some religious stuff too, on top of the math, English, science bullshit. And then my fucking major. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, what the fuck? And also, I did notice, like, people would say about my school, like, oh, your school's real fucking good. Like, they're going to look at your school, and that's going to help you get in because you went to that school. And same thing with your program or something. You had a really good program at your school. No one gives a flying fuck about that shit. Nobody does. I think the only fucking people that care about what school you went to is, like, when you're getting a job for, like, Google or something. And they Mm -hmm. have thousands of people across the planet applying for this thing and they're choosing one person then your school holds some weight yeah other than that no nope. otherwise yeah they're just kind of putting a flyer up and whoever responds exactly first you it. could be working your exact job right now if you got the exact degree at a different school like, yeah i know there's plenty of people who have a similar degree that i yeah Go to for exactly. It doesn't hold yeah. as much fucking weight as they fucking told you. That's for sure. Yeah. So, no. no. If anything, people look at me funny because I did come from the school. I'm like fucking a. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Got a reputation ahead of me. I'm like, great. This is fucking genius. It's really weird because your school has some really baller degrees there, but it's kind of a shit hole. Like, yeah. Like you guys have like a fucking what is like an. An, um, like world class optometry program or something like that for like the study of eyeballs uh-huh. and then it's a dive like outside of that it's kind of like Graceland in Memphis where you get this big bougie multi trillion dollar mansion and then just a shithole fucking ghetto surrounding it uh huh yeah no I love that yeah fuck I don't even fucking know I'm pretty sure like three programs kept your school lights on. Yeah, no, like actually, and my my professor would talk so much shit about it too, and he would like show us these charts. He's like, "Sorry, I know we're here to learn about, you know, uh, lasagna, but instead, I'm going to show you my charts that I made about why the school is failing and why our program is keeping this motherfucker up." I'm like, okay, mm. that's crazy. Of course, he thinks his program is the one that's oh, keeping this it guy up. was narcissistic as fuck. I remember I saw like your music program or something. Like, yeah, that's the music building over there, and it looked like, like where they keep like mops and brooms and shit. Yeah, it's like that's like a, a potato cellar. Yeah, it's like, yeah I know it, exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, like, yeah it that doesn't look looked right. old as shit, and I'm like, why don't they take a bulldozer to that like Tater's <laughs> house? Like, what the fuck? Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe he'll borrow it. <laughs> I thought I saw a caution tape up on the doors. Nope, it's open. Yeah, it's like a fucking phasmophobia house. Exactly, like, oh, cool. yeah. Neat. Fucking, what is Four that, In, into the rooms or something like that? <laughs> yeah, that fucking thing? Room. Yeah, into the yeah. back rooms. Yeah. Yeah, nope. What yeah. the fuck is this shit? Does not got a good uh, music program, that's for sure. My yeah. school fucking did. That's that liberal arts co- uh, uh, education. Putting in work, yeah. Yeah. Fun. You remember how nice my fucking school looked. Yeah. Everything was very bushy about my school, and I'm paying for it, so. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Ouch. Yeah. Don't yeah. care. Nah. If I think about it too much, I get panic attacks, so. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm, there was definitely yeah. a different way I could have went to uh, been more successful. The, Same, the, actually. Especially yeah. in the financial department. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't regret going and doing the football stuff because I would have fucking, that would have been like my biggest regret if I didn't play college football, but to ignore some other things is where it, kicks me in the balls and um i i think my number one thing that i would recommend to any college student is really fucking look how you can finesse the system to where you can leave that bitch with as much uh, (laughs) hardware as possible because there are many ways to where you can have like two majors and one minor and fucking Uh graduate and it doesn't even take that much yeah that's how mine was too. It's like, hey, you want this? You just gotta take two classes. I'm like, um, sure. Well, that's what I ended up doing. I mean, I ended up stumbling across a uh, degree that is labeled as a minor. I was, if I didn't say it that way, it would have sounded really bad. <laughs> um, yeah, it would have sounded fine. like you. So I decided <laughs> okay. to say it like that. But that's crazy. Um. And I was like, fuck, I got to take like three or four more classes and bam, I have this um, uh-huh. degree. So I think if I started out with that mindset, because you, you could have really you, done some crazy yeah, shit. Yeah, your gen eds can go towards other degrees. So like if you have to take these oh, yeah, classes, yeah. you might as well make them count for something rather than towards one thing. So uh-huh. I took all of these classes to get one degree, but I really could have done it to where I'm taking the classes either way, but then the next semester I'm continuing those paths while doing gen eds and getting another major. So I, I, I really could have left with a lot more and paid the same amount. Yeah. So if someone says they have, they're like a dual major, well, you think how fucking much work that had to be? Not necessarily. No, you can kind of cheese it. Yeah. No, not necessarily. I mean, that major is going to require so many classes, and so, those classes can count towards that major and a gen ed. So, like, if you wanted to be an English teacher and a history teacher, whatever fucking reason why, <laughs> um, when you take your gen ed English class, that counts towards your gen ed's for any degree you get, and it counts towards your English degree as well. Sweaty. Same thing with the history one. So now when you go from English class to history class, you're actually fucking taking out history and English prerequisites at the same time. So um, definitely uh, could have done that a little bit more. Where would have it gotten me in life? Nowhere. <laughs> no, but I mean, fuck. Nowhere, but at least I could fucking look at them and jerk off a little bit harder. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. We're watching American Horror Stories, by the way, me and the honey, and uh, we're on season two, uh, which is the asylum season, and there's a guy in there saying he's been diagnosed as the frequent masturbator, and that fucker, like, cannot take his hand out of his pants and stop jerking it. Damn, that that guy must fucking, that must suck. I'm like, how is it not bleeding? (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I was telling that to the lady. I'm like, fuck, I mean, you get blisters. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. the fuck? He don't even look like he's enjoying it. <laughs> oh, no, he looks bastard. pissed. What the hell? Yeah, spray him with water. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Cut his fucking hand off. <laughs> Some big old fucking mittens or something. Yeah, seriously. It's like no, you can't scratch mittens. yourself mittens. Yeah, yeah, seriously. A cone, like what the dogs have. Put him, <laughs> yeah, exactly. put him in the cone, yeah, so he can't fucking grab it. The cone's uh, too long. Yeah, or put his fucking wiener in those big metal cages. 
You know, but also Metal there underwear. was he. There's, I mean, it's American Horror Story, so they're obviously not doing the nicest things to their patients. And oh, uh, yeah. there was a doctor that literally just cut a woman's legs off. So I don't know why they just don't cut this guy's hands off. Yeah, where's John? Hmm. I wonder what would be better. <laughs> yeah, because he'd probably start like fucking like rubbing it on the ground and shit. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were going to say the nub. I'm like, yeah, you could probably rub the nub, too. No, make the nub far, far enough away. Yeah. You know, you got to yeah. cut his dick off. I like that yeah. more. And sew it up. Cut his hands and his dick off. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> it just stands there, like, T-posing, screaming. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Fucking poor bastard. He's just sitting there screaming. Yeah. <laughs> so then there's no two ways around it. Yeah. Yeah, you're fucked pretty much. Mm hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like, listen, Jimmy, you asked for this. I wonder you told if you to quit. masturbation is a thing. <laughs> yeah. No, I ain't looking that up because it's going to make me think I'm, I got a problem. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. You know, like when you Google, why is there a bump cancer? Yeah, yeah. 12 hours left to live. Bye. Later. You should stop spending time on Google and start saying your goodbyes. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh. Yeah. Please close the app for your family's sake. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. We just called the police. Any ambulance is coming right now. They're en route. Yeah, there's a timer and a fucking. <laughs> yeah. What the hell? It's like the pizza guy. Uh huh. Dude, Fuck. I've been trying to talk to the Snapchat AI about Trump winning, and they continue to say, I don't want to talk about this. Let's talk about something else. That's so funny. It's crazy. They're butt hurt. <laughs> yeah, like literally. And they then I'll are. change the topic and I'll be like, what's the third letter in the alphabet? And they're like, I don't want to talk about it. Let's talk about something else. <laughs> oh, it's like, because of casino, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. <laughs> literally, Snapchat AI. The AI is depressed. I brought up the cow thing. Like, huh. say you have 100 head of cattle. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, four days later, I hit him up about Trump again. And they're like, I don't want to talk about this. How are the cows doing? Okay, that's crazy. And I'm like, you told me you forgot stuff. Like, you didn't keep (laughs) records of this. He's like, I normally don't, but how are they doing? And I'm like, you lied. I've said some bad things in Snapchat AI. (laughs) He remembers all of it, too. Yeah. I think he do. I should check in on mine. Yeah, talk to him about Trump. See if he gets pissed. (laughs) I asked him for help at work the other day, and he would fucking... Did not help at all. I'm like, listen, I'm at work by myself and I have to fix a bunch of shit. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> help me. Yeah, he's gay. Yep. Did not know what I was trying to say. What's not gay, though, is the next segment of this podcast, which is oh. the Burton Burger Wired autocomplete interview. Damn. This is the section where we go onto the Wired YouTube channel and we watch one of their interviews with big famous celebrities and we take screenshots of their cards that they read off of the most Googled questions about these individuals and we replace their names with Burton Burger because oh, yeah. we're fucking cucks and we'll never make it that far. Hey, that's fine. There's a place in the world for everybody. There is. <laughs> Ours is definitely. Pond's so, gone. anyways, um, <laughs> damn, <laughs> it's Bert's turn to bring some questions. So, uh, what do you got for us today, Bert? I was amazed. Honestly, the first few that I've done, I was just like fucking pissed. I'm like, these are so bad. Like, I, I just, you know, whatever. I was, I had no faith in this, and then I found one that was awesome. I'm very happy, and I, my faith is restored. I just need to look a little bit harder sometimes, and then yep. it's really not that bad. It's not. So this one, there's a whole bunch of fun stuff that we haven't seen yet. Sure. Um. Yeah, we can. Yeah, whatever. Fuck it. I'm ready for this episode's weird autocomplete B and B interview. We're going to be borrowing questions that were asked 
from we're gonna be borrowing the questions asked all right i don't know what i'm saying this episode is jeremy renner okay hawkeye from the mcu i've watched this one have you yep well i wasn't in the show so fuck you <laughs> I like this one. So I, I just I think they talk about his car accident or when he got fucking ran over by a snowblower and that was it. That's all <laughs> okay. I remember. Uh, he was in a really bad accident like a couple years ago. Snowblower's crazy. I don't know if it was a snowblower. He got like smoked by a snowplow or some shit like that. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Huh. He's okay though. Yeah. He's back to slinging A's. What'd you just say? <laughs> what the hell was that? Sling and A's, you know, arrows. Okay, like that's page fucking out of your book. fucked. That's fucked. Bow and All right. A's. Some gay Sling shit, you would say. Ripping B's? <laughs> Ripping A's? B and A's with his B, slinging some A's. B and E's with his P? Yeah. I fit some, some, I fit some B's with his P. Yeah, He's whatever. Pe- peeing on some A's with his B. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait. What the hell? He is S and A's with his B. Oh, I thought, okay. Shooting arrows with his butt. Yep. <laughs> You're saying he was pissing on asses with his butt. Like, what <laughs> the hell? He's doing mean? that too, probably. I do that Boy. sometimes as well. Boy. Sounds Especially like if I got hit by a snowplow. Oh my god! All right, from the top, what is Burnt Burger doing these days? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Fucking a. Well, it's about one in the fucking morning, and I'm fucking <laughs> talking to my cousin right now, pretending we're Jeremy Renner. Ah, uh-huh. fucking a. Just yeah. got done playing Phasmophobia with my friend. That was <laughs> <Cousin>. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been calling him cousin recently. I don't like it. <laughs> on accident. When I died, I heard you on the walkie talkie. You're like, nope, that's our cousin. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everybody's our cousin. They is. As Elvis once said, we're all children from Adam and Eve. Fuck. That's we're funny until you think about... That's what I believe. Yeah, true. So in a weird way, I'm fucking, I've only poured it to my long distance cousins. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's kind of direction I was going, but no, yeah, that's a little weird, but. Yeah, but yeah, no, working, okay. yeah, recording working. a pod, streaming, coloring working, counties. Farming, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. Next one. Does B&B do their own stunts? Yeah. Yeah? Would you mm-hmm. do your own stunts if you were in that opportunity? You know, I definitely wouldn't turn into, like, Tom Cruise or Jackie Chan or something He's like that. hanging off the side of a plane. Yeah, he's just an asshole. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, like Brett, cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. to make a point. Nice. Um, You're cool. Yeah, nice. I don't know. I I would probably do more than the average um, person, but I don't know. I don't know if they'd yeah. let me either, so. Yeah, like the, like the, I don't even know why I'm thinking of it, but yeah. You know, things that are real low to the ground, stuff like that <laughs> I think I could do. Jumping or being high, nah. Jumping? Like off you know, the jumping ground. off something, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm good. Jumping, yeah, just, you know, from a stationary position like a basketball yeah, player. Nope, not, can't I'm good. <laughs> Fuck that shit. No thanks. Get another guy in here, Photoshop <laughs> my face on him. Yeah. Eh, not my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my job's to read lines. No. Uh, my job's required to be funny. This isn't funny. <laughs> exactly. Jumping? Mm, no. Sounds kind of gay. Sounds super gay, actually. Okay. Yep, now we're getting into the funny stuff that he spoiled. What was B&B doing when they were injured? Hmm. 
Yeah, this is so. This is when Jeremy Renner got smoked by a snowplow. Um, <laughs> so fuck crazy. I don't know what you do when you broke your ankle. I played video games like a motherfucker. I melted into a fucking recliner, and I woke up, and then I had my mom bring me food, and then I ate. I don't think I left the recliner like for days at a time. Actually, I honestly don't hear a difference between <laughs> then and now. Well, when normally I'm kind of least. a clean freak, and I like to like wash myself, but I didn't even do it then. Like, fuck this shit, it hurts. Yeah, knock on wood, I haven't had any injuries like that to where I had to take some time off. Fuck. Besides, like, maybe a little stomach bug here and there, but. It's about mm. it. You get to poops. Yeah. Can't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Can't nothing work. crazy. I'm a big, uh. Nowadays. Fuck, no. Got the poops. Gatorade and. Have to work. Yeah. Ain't got no choice but to work. No. Really don't. Got mouse to feed, bills to pay. This is fucking crazy. Just how she rolls sometimes. What the fuck? You gotta power through it. (laughs) What the fuck? You back now? I need to stop doing this. I'm I was trying to drag that buds. on until you were ready to start talking again. I know. It's, I I accident. I like playing with my fucking earbud case, and I open my earbuds, and then it like fucked my audio up. On my computer nice. hard. I'm turning Bluetooth off. Fucking oh, piece of shit. You'll like that little monologue. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was, I was trying to talk over it. I'm like, what the fuck? Stop talking. I know. What the hell? All right. I'm peeling off the ah. next sticker. Yeah. Are Bert and Burke are good at archery? Bird is. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to think that I still got it. It's kind of like riding a bike. Whenever I put it down, I bring it back up, and I'm like, yep, got her still. Uh-huh. But I haven't shot in a long time. I don't know if I've ever actually shot, like, a real bow. No. I've yeah, I know. Like- when I saw this, I feel like I remember we talked about it once, you saying that you have, but I don't know. Nope. Guess not. <laughs> oh, fuck. Not. No, nothing serious. Maybe no. like a toy one. I just remember always being fucking confused because even when I have like a toy one, that fucking drawstring just drags against my forearm and I'm like, this is fucking gay. Yeah, they have like a thing you're supposed to wear when you shoot a real bow. <laughs> so you yeah, don't fucking rip all but the skin off. no, something not right. Like... I, like, pull back, and I see it, like, already on my left shoulder. I'm like, something's <laughs> not right here, because that's going from the top of my shoulder down to my fucking wrist. So uh-huh. I'm going to do, like, what they did in the Terrifier and just rip my fucking skin right off. Uh-huh. Like, yeah, it's going to get a right. little piece and then rip her all the way down to the bone. Yeah, literally, like a fucking just tearing a piece of paper. Fucking so gross. Gonna, it's going to make the same noise, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Fuck so that. people tell me that. Like, oh, yeah, you wear a little wrist guard. Okay, but what about, like, when it's scratching, like, the back of your shoulder? <laughs> like, Ugh. what about when it's, like, getting the back of my knee? Mm-hmm. Something's wrong here. Yeah, not good. Not good, not good. Okay, next one. Uh, I think we've already kind of answered this. Fuck it. Yeah, no. We should skip those. No, ask. Are Burton Burger Irish? Mm, I don't think I am. I don't think so. I don't know what I am. I keep telling people that my Gay. one of my grandmas looks Mexican. Um, That's all I know. There was another one on Twitter today. Remember how I was like, Mike McCarthy is blank, and I said gay? Yeah. This one was for Justin Tucker. Justin Tucker is blank, and I said gay again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're like yo this guy needs to be stopped <laughs> yeah it's, it's the same thing with you you're like I don't know what I am gay <laughs> man mm-hmm. nope yeah. no Irish no Irish fucking A nah fuck that I don't know what the fuck I is I gotta take that test like you said you did but mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know Uh, next one is Burton Burger's tattoo sleeve real? 
Nope. I have a Not little real. one on my pinky. Bert has a little one on his wrist. Other than that, we don't got no sleeve. Yeah, I um, I never when I got mine, I never really thought about how often I would have to fucking answer when people ask me what it was for. I'm like fuck. Now you're gonna make me cry. Um, no, but not really. Yeah, all the guys at work have been asking me. I'm like, you know, I have to be cute. And I put my, I put my fingers down and I lace them together and I put my, you know, I flick my hair back. I'm like, I got from my gamma. I feel like such a fucking homo, but it's like, whatever, um, man. you should say it's how many people you've killed and you add an extra <laughs> pedal. Yeah, every time. exactly. It's gonna be some crazy shit. Yeah. I know. It's for how many men I fucked. <laughs> yeah. This is my body count. Uh, huh? yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You would yeah. look terrible with the fucking sleeve, so don't ever get one. I, I know. You do I don't like the fucking one. the patchwork look either, though. Like, some people have the, you know, it's just like little ones all over where it's like stickers. That one looks kind of weird, but. No, no, no. I kind of want to. Just get jacked and get like a tribal one, like the rock or something. I know those always look cool. But Not gonna, but yeah, a boy can dream. A boy can dream. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Next one is B and B. Are Bert or Burger left-handed? No, I don't think so. No, I think we're both right-handed. I am more. What is it? Ambidextrous. Yeah, ambidextrous. Right yeah. Word? Amidextrous. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Um. Close enough. I am more that than most people that are not. I do a lot of things with my left hand. Um, okay. Like dribbling a basketball. Like I have a hard time dribbling with my right hand. Left hand, I can dribble better. It's weird. Okay, that's a little weird. Uh, and, um... Like, when we play, like, pickleball or tennis, like, very unconsciously, if the ball is, like, on my left side, I will literally, like, transfer the racket to my left hand and then swing with my left hand. That's pretty rather interesting. Than, rather than just holding it with both hands and backhanding it. Oh, mm. I do that shit all the time. And I've done that since I was a kid. Like, even badminton. Like, fucking with yeah. the birdie. I yeah. do that shit all the fucking time. I would literally, th I throw the racket into my left hand, catch it, and yeah. fucking swing with it. That's pretty like, funny. Just one left, like, one hand on it. I, I didn't even realize that was that big of a deal until someone said something about it. Yeah. Huh. So, um, but then, like, writing, I literally look like a toddler with it, or throwing a football or baseball or something. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I forgot so what it is with left hand, but I, I can do something with the left hand. Sport wise, I forgot what the fuck it is, but yeah, you yeah, think you do can do a lot of things better than you think you can no, with no. sports stuff. Like when you made a fucking putt with a driver one time, and you're like, "That's it, putting with a driver." And I've seen you miss putt after putt after yeah. putt because you have a driver. I know. I get in my head. I have one good thing that looks good. I don't pick up on what actually made you it. You did that wiffle ball like, too, where wiffle? you're like, "I'm gonna swing with one hand." You smoked one, and then the next <laughs> ninety nine, you fucking barely hit or didn't hit at all. <laughs> yeah, I remember being dialed in. Oh my god, one of those was good, but yep, yeah, fuck that. Out of a thousand. Yeah, fuck. Broken clock is right two times a day. Where? You'll get yeah. it someday. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not left handed. I can do a lot with my left hand. Yeah. A lot of times, like with weightlifting too. Like when I'm curling with my left hand, I can do like way easier. It'll be it's weird. I don't know. That is odd. Yeah. Huh. All right. Do Bert or Burger know sign language? Uh, I know the middle finger. Yep. That's about the extent of my knowledge as well. <sighs> no. I probably should know more, but I don't. No, I don't know any. No, uh, I think I know no. a little bit because my brother can't talk, but. That's like some Dude, fucking your brother blank, talks like, fine. He shit. talks better than you do. He kind of does. Yeah. I don't know about the one with the uh, mental disorders. Oh, I see. Well, <laughs> I love doing that. Um, <laughs> no, when I did my, um, not my internship, when I studied abroad, that was a big thing was working with like deaf people in Jamaica, but 
I huh. remember they were trying to teach us like the alphabet and shit there, and all these girls and shit were getting into it. And I was like, "Fuck you guys! I don't even care." <laughs> yeah, because I knew yeah. none of us were gonna remember this shit afterwards. Uh huh. Like, I'm like, I can't learn a new language in two weeks, and we're not doing no. it enough. And they were like getting the alphabet down and all of that. Yeah, it doesn't even make sense. You're like, sure, I'll move my hands in a funny way. And yeah, then a and it's days, just like, yeah, like and this. all they ended up doing was just spelling words with their hands to some deaf people. Uh huh. And I'm like, hey, that's like fucking what Hector Salamanca does with his dinner bell. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are we doing here? Uh huh. You're not learning anything. You're memorizing a language and just like memorizing some letters in Hebrew and writing them fucking down. Uh huh. Yeah, so I remember people gave me shit, too, like I wasn't actually learning shit, and I'm like, I paid a lot of money to be here. <laughs> uh-huh. I'm on fucking vacation right now. <laughs> well, you're you're getting, you know, credit for this, though. You should pay attention. I paid for that, too. Thank you. <laughs> exactly. So, like, who fuck the fuck off. are you? Yeah, yeah, who the fuck are you? I'm chilling on a beach right now. <laughs> yeah, give Blow me a break. Me. Seriously, fuck? blow me. They were probably hot too. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably a guy, but fuck. Yeah. Nope. No sign language. No. Oh fuck. How are Bert and Burger? How are Bert and Burger and Jennifer Lawrence related? Jennifer Lawrence. That's the Hunger Games gal. Right. Oh yeah. I think I've nutted to her nudes. When they um <laughs> were leaked, it's about it. Oh, no shit. Okay. I think I yeah. remember her having tiny nips. I believe it. Her boobies were big, but her nip nippies were tiny. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's not a bad loadout. Uh, it was pretty bad. Oh, okay. Maybe that's a bad loadout. It's like a mini. I don't know, or a micro. Oh, I see. I saw something that like. <laughs> Really, uh-huh. uh, really, uh, <laughs> really, okay. give me a sec. It really connected some dots for me. It was a Twitter post and it said big boobs with normal looking nipples. Okay. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe Biden posted it. So I don't think it was real, <laughs> but those are the best. Yeah. But that's what it said, like in all caps. It was big tits with normal looking nipples. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's got that's it. That's what it is. That's what it is. This guy figured it out. Yeah. It was Joe Biden. <laughs> it was literally Joe Biden that said it, too. That's so It's like Joe awesome. Biden posted on Twitter. That's what you get for taking me out of the race, you stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like oh, thinking of him as some bitter old man. Hell yeah. Do you see those you know, memes where Kamala lost by one vote and it shows fucking like Joe Biden smiling? <laughs> and like the Michael Bay music drops. Oh, oh, Lincoln my Park God. plays in the background. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Shit's yeah. So it's about all the relationship we have with J, J- Lo. Yeah. Jen Lo. Jen Law. <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, when did B and B start singing? Hmm. Long he time does ago. Sing. I have one of his songs on my playlist on Spotify. Had no fucking clue. I, I think just about every actor out there can sing for the most part. Like have can hold a tune. Yeah. Just about every single one. Just kind of like now how a bunch of singers can now act. It's kind of gay. Kind of like Sydney applying for the Amazing Race and gets on Survivor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like fucking oh, stay cool. your lane, bro. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, and then is Burton Burger in a band? Nope. No. Or had the urge. Have been thinking it'd be cool to pick up the bass guitar just because that fits into what the fuck else I have going on, but also at the same time, ah, uh, bass no. does not fit into what you're going on i would say if i looked at you and i had to guess what you could play no you're not bass even a tiny bit i would say you're like fucking flute what the fuck like the skin flute all right well what the fuck 
Why are you so amazed by that? What the fuck? That's fucked up. (laughs) What the hell? Boy, that's the one. You look like you play accordion. You look like you play hurdy-gurdy. Hit the hurdy. Yeah. Cue it up. Fuck. I think I would really would have liked uh, drumming, I've noticed, too. I think I would really would have liked that. I remember being super into that, and then I asked my parents, and they said, too much money, you can sing. I said, all right. That was my childhood. Yeah. No, I did cool. guitar in college, but... Yeah. Yeah. The the cool thing with instruments is once you learn how to do one, the other ones come a lot fucking easier. When I was learning piano, it was very much connecting way quicker for me than it would if someone didn't know any instruments. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Same thing agree. like uh, with uke. I mean, uke's the same thing as a guitar except four strings, so... But... Picked it up incredibly fucking easy. Mm-hmm. Ain't tried yeah. trombone or nothing, so we'll see. Yeah, fuck. Fuck that. Uh, what did B&B do before acting? I guess technically everything that we've done so far. Yeah, literally at this point. I mean, what were we doing before the podcast? Um, <laughs> we could say. Um, I mean... Bert didn't do anything as far as that shit goes. I always would try to do things here and there. Like I had a YouTube channel way back in the day that I'd make a bunch of little videos for. Bert made special appearances in some of them. Um, mm-hmm. Tried streaming a couple times. Uh, that was a mess. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> I tried doing some stuff like that. Tried having like my little like own caricature and that was like early internet days Mm -hmm. it's about it yeah never really took off anywhere else yeah now it doesn't even really feel like anything now i think we're just so accustomed to it yeah at this point like it's just time to stream time to record yeah what's up chat how you doing routine baby Mm -hmm. damn all right do does B and B know martial arts? I think I got a yellow belt in Taekwondo or karate. I don't know if those are the same things. <laughs> are they the same fucking thing? <laughs> no, they're not. No. no, it's different like disciplines of martial arts. But yeah, basically the same thing. Yeah, as far as somebody who doesn't know what it is, then yeah, it's the same thing. It's so, funny you did it and you don't know what it is. <laughs> I was probably six, so <laughs> maybe five. Oh. I'm not sure. That's funny. It's yeah. not like it was three days ago. <laughs> right. Like, yeah, no, I just picked it up. Like, what the fuck? Elvis was really into karate. He fucking had a, really? has like a black belt in it. Yeah, that's where a lot of his oh. dance moves came from in the 70s. That's fucking neat. Yeah, a bunch oh. of those poses and shit. Yeah, Elvis could fucking kill you. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty cool, actually. I remember there was something in Graceland when I went there with my grandma. He had some fucking, like, cut out piece of newspaper that they had on display where it talked about him, like, doing something in karate. Like, it was some, like, little local newspaper, and it said, Elvis learned karate, and he had all this, and he was, like, so proud of himself. He, like, cut out this little fucking little article in the newspaper. That's cute. And I'm like, this is fucking Elvis, the highest selling singer of all time. Everybody on the planet knows him. He's doesn't really get any more famous than him. Uh-huh. And here he is in his little local newspaper. He's like, "Yo, ma, they talked about me." <laughs> yeah, cut it out like a li- like a, it was just a little fucking thing. It That's was like so some funny. tiny little accomplishment, like rewarded a fucking belt in this or something. Yeah, it's literally like some fucking hometown hero shit. Yeah, like it's like yeah. when I got all excited that my name was in the paper for football. Uh huh. When I had a couple of catches in a game or something like that. Yeah. In some That's game, awesome. we lost by 63 points. <laughs> it would say, Burger with three catches for 12 yards. And then I'm like, yo, my name's in the paper. It's like what oh. Elvis did. And it wasn't before he was famous. Like It was like in the 70s when he was 
I was very much a somebody for like 20 fucking years. That's funny as hell. It was fucking insane. Like, what the fuck? But yeah, it's about all the martial arts we know. Yeah. Somebody joked about getting into it with me the other day, and I'm like, nah. I love the idea. I love flirting with ideas. That's one of them, but no, never in a million years. I'm a big claustrophobia and a pussy. Yeah, guy. thank you. Thank you. That's what you need to start with. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not a big fan of physical altercations or meeting uh, or touching. Or movement. In any way. Or movement, actually, really. Thank you for reminding me. Yeah. No. Nope. I'm all set. Next up. Arbert and Burger. Arbert and Burger and Elizabeth Olsen friends. I wish. Would be cool. She's welcome to come on the pod. Please. Yeah. Kind of forgot who that was. That's the, uh, that's Wanda, right? Yeah. Yeah. Her sisters yeah. are Mary-Kate and Ashley. Yeah, I still don't know what that means. Yeah, Mary-Kate and Ashley was a fucking huge, huge thing. Um, Like in the 90s and early 2000s or something. It's kind of like Hannah Montana. Oh. You know how Hannah Montana was like really big? Yeah, uh, that yeah, like Mary Kate and Ashley was like before Hannah Montana. So Damn. the what's her name? The one that plays Wanda, Kate Olson, Elizabeth, Elizabeth Olson. Yeah, it's it's Mary Kate and Ashley Olson, and then Elizabeth Olson is their older sister. So she was like the one on the outs while her little Damn. twin sisters were fucking ginormous. That's crazy. And now it's completely flipped. Mary Kate and Ashley are like nothing now and then elizabeth olsen's and she's probably faded a little bit but like when wandavision and shit came out was like ginormous and the doctor strange movie where she was the big baddie in yeah. more ways than one yo for real fuck yeah no nah, it's pretty cool i'm gonna have to edit all the clicks out of me fucking looking through all these pictures what the fuck yeah, right. mary kate and ashley were minors so don't look at them too long not the fucking you new look. ones. Not new pictures. What the fuck? No, oh, you mean the recent ones? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I'm going to say, if there's new pictures of them as children, they're still children, Bert, so... Okay. Yeah, no, I yeah. was going to say, they were they the fucking... That's Chris Hansen at your door, buddy. All right. They were the little kids in Fuller House, then? I don't know. Maybe. I think that's what it says. Little blonde girls? Yeah. With I don't... fucking Bob Saget? I don't... I never watched that too much. What... <laughs> Were they the same on. character, though? No, I think they were twins. Or were they separate? Because I know they do that a lot, too. Like, the Sprouse brothers from mm-hmm. Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, they were the little kid in Big Daddy. What the fuck? Yeah, no. the little boy. Yeah, the, that was played by the Sprouse twins, but they both played that kid. Like, no they would way. It. Yeah. yeah. I love that fucking movie. Oh, my yeah. God, it totally is. I never made that what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, no, the little kid is... Oh, my God. Zach and Cody. Oh, my God. I used to watch the fucking shit out of that movie. I never realized yeah. it was him. Or them. Them. Yeah, they both played the same character. They do that a lot with twins That's sometimes. That's wild. I don't One know of them what gets them tuckered t- out and needs a Big Mac. I don't know what them two fellers are up to now. I believe one of them... Probably banging. Is dating or is married to Megan Trainer? I just remember. I think it was like Cole Sprouse, because Megan Trainer would say like her and like it was an article and it said her and Cole, Megan Trainer says her and Cole Sprouse have really great sex. That's crazy. I remember being like eighteen. Like, why am I reading this? What the fuck <laughs> is this? I was like just on my like Facebook page. It's like, what the fuck is this shit? What the fuck? They look like Elon Musk. This picture yeah. looks like Musk. Maybe. Don't know. I remember one of them was in some like commercials too, like the, the <laughs> State Farm ones. This one looks crazy. Yeah, they both have, are very odd fellows. Maybe I don't judge. I do. I know because I know I get judged. What goes around comes around. What can I say? <laughs> For Burton Burger and James Bond. Wait, were Bert or? What um was 
Um, nope, we weren't. Um, I used to. I went through a little James Bond phase when I was like in middle school. Yeah, little, little one. There was one I played on the Wii. There was a game I played yeah, on the Wii. Was a fucking Gold Eye or fucking Gold Pecker Triple O Seven. Well, or that, it was the one with Daniel Craig. It wasn't like the fucking one sure. you played on the Nintendo sixty four. It was um, a more modern one. It's on the Wii, not the end. Goldfinger was like a really popular game on the N64. The, the one We're that playing I played that with Cousin Casino. Uh, that one, um, it was cool because there's all these slow motion scenes that you could do in those games, and they would show you how James Bond would kick somebody's fucking ass. Mm-hmm. And um, I would do those moves in, at school on kids. <laughs> I really wouldn't, and I literally would fucking kick ass too. <laughs> like, what, if oh. someone was looking the other way in the video game, you could go do the stealth takedown behind them. That was really fucking cool, and I did that all the time in school to my friends. And I fucking, <laughs> yeah, I got their asses a lot. <laughs> That's insane. There was one that you you could do where I don't know why I remember this one, but the guy would go to punch James Bond, and James Bond would just kind of catch his punch and then he would kick him twice in the front of the knee and then kick okay. the back of his knee so okay. he would fall on down on one foot or um, like on one knee and then I think he just punched him in the fucking face or some shit yeah. that's fucking crazy I, I remember that shit I did a lot of James Bond moves on people then <laughs> um, I tried insane. to I tried to watch all of the James Bond movies, but there's literally like 30 of them, and like eight different actors play James Bond. And yeah, fuck that. They they start in the 60s, so I was just like, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Nope, nope, that's a fucking tall fucking task, and I really don't know how connected they are, like the MCU. I don't think so. Yeah, it might just be just like different renditions of the same shit, same story, it's, or you know? just a different adventure. Oh, I see. Yeah, kind of thing. Sense. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's all I got on my end. Yeah, those were a for lot of questions. Ren. Yeah, J. Ren has yep. some popular questions. Some cool I know ones. they didn't suck. Yeah, those were fun. Good job, Bert. Yeah. yeah, not bad. So yeah, that is the Burton Burger Wired autocomplete interview. Thank you for the questions, Bert. You did a good job. Hopefully next week I'll yeah. be able to bring up some cool ones as well. And uh, we're going to wrap it here, ladies and gents. I know last time we said we would go over some more Discord questions, but we just kind of ran out of time. I think we just got so excited about the Moveroo store sponsoring True. the podcast. Check it out so once again, thank you to the folks at the Moveroo store that sponsored the Burton Burger podcast. We really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the sponsorship, guys. Make sure you check out all of their links down in the description below. And don't you forget, it's just comedy at the end of the day, guys. Please calm down. Chill. Have some fun. Chill, chill, chill. But yeah, we're Burton Burger. We're just trying to bring a little bit of that family element to the podcast world, guys. Thank you so much for vibing and chilling with your cuzzies. And we will see all of you beautiful people in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Gooby. Layla. And that fucker, like, cannot take his hand out of his pants and stop jerking it. Brain with water. What the fuck? <laughs> Cut his fucking hand off. <laughs> Some big old fucking mittens or something. Yeah, seriously. No, he'd fuck the mittens. <laughs>